Pokemon Go adds $9 billion to Nintendo's value. Pokemon Go sees 1.6 million in daily revenue, 22,000 people in SF meet up to catch Pokemon together, and more. It's Monday, July 11th, and this is Crunch Report. Hope you all had a good weekend catching all those Pokemon. Pokemon Go is a hit and is about to even pass up Twitter and daily active users. And a side effect of all this monster catching is Nintendo's stock price surged, raising its total market cap to 28 billion as of close of trading on the Tokyo Stock Exchange today. And that's with only launching in a few countries. International rollout was halted because of server capacities. According to Reuters, it's already been installed in over 5% of active Android devices in use in the US, making it more popular than Tinder. And time spent in app is around 43 minutes, which is more than people spend in common time sync apps like Instagram and Android. I'm curious to see if this trend keeps up after a week, a month, when school picks back up. Nevertheless, Quite impressive. People are looking forward to Amazon Prime Day as if it is a national holiday. Walmart wants a piece of that action and to be competitive, the company says it's offering free shipping with no minimum purchase required starting today, Monday, July 11th through Friday, July 15th. Walmart says that free shipping will be available for over 1 million walmart.com items and notes that many of its marketplace sellers are already offering free shipping. If you need to take a hit to quell that shopping addiction, now is the time. You need to buy a Pokemon outfit, a Pikachu, do it. I know what you're thinking. How much money is Pokemon Go raking in? App analytics company Sensor Tower uses its predictive model of the App Store and Google Play, which takes hundreds of thousands of data points from its partners to generate an estimate of the download numbers Pokemon Go is seeing. It's been downloaded 7.5 million times in the US from Google Play and the iOS App Store and generating $1.6 million a day solely from iOS, according to Sensor Tower. The game is literally printing money. The nostalgia of Pokemon has really struck a nerve with people. So much so, in fact, that now meetups are forming in different cities so people can go and catch Pokemon together. Like for example, in San Francisco, the Facebook event, the San Francisco Pokemon Go Crawl for this Wednesday has 3,600 people confirmed in attendance with another 18K interested in the event. The event is set to start as a stroll through the city before culminating in a bar crawl. The coolest thing about the app, honestly, is how it's getting people outside. Also, it's looking like it's getting people together to do fun things and be playful. Awesome. With new technologies come people who exploit it for the worst. Four teens were taken into custody on Sunday morning, according to the O'Fallon, Missouri Police Department, after having targeted a pedestrian using the geolocation feature of the Pokemon Go app. Apparently, they were using the app to locate people standing around in the middle of a parking lot or whatever other location they were in. The four men pulled over a guy who had been lured into the geolocation and threatened him with a handgun from the inside of a black BMW. According to another statement from the police, they all had the knowledge and intent of committing a robbery using a firearm. That's some heavy stuff. Be careful out there. Just have fun catching Pokemon. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow. Happy pokemon -ing. You gotta catch your mouth. Gotta catch him up.